this short tutorial is to show you how to change your profile on your Mahara site. When you log in into the home page you're greeted with your welcome text here. We have a couple of tabs across the top of the page. The ones we're dealing with now is our profile. So when we click with profile we are asked to edit our, our profile. As you'll see here there's no picture entered at the moment. We have um, a obligatory field for entering your first name and your last name. This is marked as obligatory because it's in red text and it's got an asterisk beside it. You can put in a, a bit of introductory text yourself and then you have other tabs across the way, contact information, messaging and general. Now, um, firstly we will upload our picture. So let's just come to uh, profile icons. Now, there's no icons in here now at the moment, so let's just find one by pressing on Browse and F. Once we've found an icon of choice, we literally just click it in there and we'll say that it's a comic guy and we'll just upload it there. Straight away you will see the icon is here. It gives you the option to delete this icon or indeed add four, uh, uh, four more icons in here. Mahara gives you five different icons essentially allowing you a different persona depending on who you're talking to. You can have a very professional passport style photograph when you have for your CV sending it out on a professional basis or an informal photograph for when you're talking to workmates and colleagues. It's 100% up to yourself and as I said you have five different options of uh, pictures that you can use for your profile. Now, now that we've got our profile out of the way, uh, let's just move on to, excuse me, let's move on to editing our profile page. If we click on editing a profile page, we're greeted with a number of tabs, blogs, external feeds, files, images, and general profile and resume. Let's just concentrate on, on um, profile at the moment and let's just for our front page let's just have it on what groups I'm, uh, are interested in, who my friends are and uh, maybe a general profile of myself. So this is what goes on the home page and literally to do that you um, just find an icon and drag it, drag it down into the area. All right, you can also have a wall very similar to your Facebook option. Uh, and there we go, there's your wall that's there. Let's just save that and see what we've got. So, when joke student here, when we have it here, profile information when I enter it, any groups that I'm a member, and again, a bit of a blurb about me here, any friends that I have, and indeed a wall gives people to, uh, an option to post on my wall, or indeed for me to write a message with regards to my status. That is editing the uh, profile page. Editing the, the profile itself we've already gone through and the icons. The resume goals and skills, this is what we'll discuss at a later stage but essentially um, it allows you to portray yourself in an incredibly professional manner literally by following some simple steps uh, going into your cover letter, your general interests, contact information, employment history and all of this sort of field and categories and um, it's a hell of a lot better than the short and simple two-page CV because it allows you to adapt it to whoever your audience may be at whatever stage. So that's a very quick overview on creating your profile and uh, updating it as you see fit. Thank you very much.